grew up in Bedford Stuyvesant, New York. That's in Brooklyn. <laughs> we didn't, you know, back in the day, it wasn't called Bed Stuy. My mother and my father were completely different, but they both were dancers. She was a party girl. My father was much more structured. He was intellectual. He was someone who was going to influence his environment. Every summer, I spent in my grandmother's home in North Carolina. In those days, you see water fountains, and one would say colored, the other would say white. And it, inevitably, it was always the case. The colored one was so dirty. Why would anybody want to drink out of the other one? <laughs> Nine years old. She said, one is for the colored and one is for the white. And I said, what a stupid idea. Whatever happened to that mantra from the 60s that black is beautiful? In fashion, racism is, is like, it's live. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you just have to know that. Ethan is a warrior. And mostly she's been a gladiator, by which I mean she's been alone. She's worked tirelessly to make diversity what it is today. You know what was most challenging? My first fashion show for Chester Weinberg. When I went out in that showroom, there were a Southern bias, and Southern bias, as soon as I hit the showroom and I had to walk three rooms, they couldn't hold their heads up and look at me. They had never seen anything like that before, and that was shocking. Each time I went out, the, no the room became noisier and noisier. That was one of the hardest things I had ever had in my life, and each time I came back, Chester must have sensed it because he would say, come on, you're beautiful, you're a beautiful woman, and he'd fix me. The confidence that it gives you that just for something like that to happen, someone having your back. You're the key to my then you start knowing how you can do that, too. I'm always, in my heart, fighting for the fashion world, no matter what color she's in. She was my everything, my bouncing ball, and she always used to call me her buffalo soldier. The effect is really actually visible. I think a lot of the designers have listened to what you have said. I went up to her and I introduced myself and I said, thank you. When you start to see people of color, just all kinds of different people in ads, it looks great. It lets you know that you are accepted. You can change things. You might need to be your foot against the pedal, but you can change things.